Reporting for uh, Free Speech TV, this is Sonali Kohatkarn, and I'm here with Donna Smith. She is the uh, executive director of the Progressive Democrats of America. We're on the third floor of the Marriott Hotel, where a press conference has just taken place of the Bernie Delegates Network. Donna, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So first, can you, um, just for those people who are not familiar with it, explain what Progressive Democrats of America is and how it is related to the sort of network of Bernie Delegates? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Progressive Democrats of America is a federal PAC. Our mission is to support uh, progressive candidates and advance them in congressional races and other races. Uh, about two and a half years ago, we started circulating a petition to ask Bernie Sanders to run as a Democrat. We collected, we thought we would give it to him if we got 10,000 signatures, and we got many, many more thousands of signatures than that. On uh, the 14th of May of 2014, we gave those signatures to Bernie Sanders. Uh, he did not make the decision at that point. Uh, he would have lots more people trying to influence and work on him. So we launched into what we called our We Want Bernie campaign. The only presidential candidate we have ever endorsed as an organization is Bernie Sanders. And that's because we're an issue-based organization. And he lined up on every issue that we are very concerned about. So for the last two and a half years, we've been full out Bernie Sanders supporters and really working very hard throughout the country in various chapters. To, to support his work. How has the Sanders campaign energized PDA? Wow. I mean, here we have this, uh, I think the most exciting way it's energized it so far is that we see that we, pr previously we would look at a room of PDA supporters and you'd see a lot of people in my age group, you know, a lot of gray hair, a lot of grandmas and grandpas, and a lot of people who are in kind of that aging hippie range and all too frequently way too white. And as we watched the Sanders campaign proceed through the last two and a half years, what was really fascinating was to look at how diverse the rooms began to be. And very exciting. We would see all age ranges. We began to see cultural diversity. And we saw it in a way that was exciting. And now going forward, we, we got a contact from uh, the some young students who've been organizing for Bernie Sanders on college students all across the country. They want to partner with another organization, with PDA and help start reforming those Bernie chapters on college campuses into real political uh, engines for those students on those campuses. That is extremely exciting work to see young people and millennials who will be now interested, engaged, and they lend a special kind of energy and intelligence that we aging hippies really don't. <laughs> now, now, the two-party system has really been um, built less on real issues that matter and more on you know, getting Wall Street candidates, if you will, into the White House. What are the issues that define PDA and the issues that you want to see addressed by whoever is in the White House? Well, I think they, uh, you know, the climate emergency is clearly one of the biggest issues, and we were very proud to see that we had an amendment introduced uh, through the platform committee by Russell Green, one of the PDA uh, Bernie delegates from California, a wonderful sweeping climate mobilization um, uh, amendment that passed, thank goodness, uh, that went through. It was a little bit tweaked in the process. We thought the tweaking might have been a little bit more than we would be comfortable with, but basically it was retained in the platform. Single-payer health care and Medicare for All is a critical issue to our activists. We've been working on it for a very long time, lessening the commitment to a military uh, standing in this world and being more about peace and justice. Uh, racial justice is a big issue for our groups. Uh, ERA, the ERA, and interestingly... Equal Rights Amendment. Yeah, interestingly, yes. Uh, interestingly, uh, you would think that would veer us towards uh, Hillary and you know so we would love if that were the case but it just is, as one of the speakers said in our press conference in so very many ways Bernie Sanders is a better feminist than Hillary Clinton is uh, we have issues related to the stopping the TPP we have a very dedicated group of people forcing that issue uh, not privatizing the criminal system the criminal justice system so there's a wide range of issues that PDA is really working on that Bernie Sanders really articulated well <laughs>